This is my Marauder. This is my first ever actual Marauder that I've played all the way to the end game. Um, this is the first Marauder I played all the way to the end game. He's really nice overall as far as damage. Um, what I was going to do was run him with RF. Um, however, I'm probably just going to keep Val RF and not run RF on him anymore because RF is really hard to sustain and it's giving me a pain in the ass. Uh, so I just kind of am giving up on it. I'll just run something else. Or I probably just won't run it at all. I'll just keep Val RF for the extra damage increase and I won't run the RF itself. Um, the reason I was going to run RF is because of the skill type that this guy is, which is, um, he is a Armageddon brand build. So, um, what Armor Grid and Brand is the new one of the new skills in the game, and what it does is a lot of fire damage, uh, and it looks like this. <laughs> and it drops fireballs from the sky when you run up next to things. Oh, I already know your account, man. I can see you. Right here. I got you. We're good to go. I'm gonna switch characters. I'm gonna do some leveling today. But, um, that'll be after. But yeah, this is what um, this character looks like. Uh, I know a lot of people are running um, Templar for brands, but I wanted to run Marauder because he gets so much increase in fire damage. It's just so, so easy to play. And it's so much damage, and it feels so good. That's why I wanted to run RF. It just was not working out. Like, I can, I can survive RF if I'm at maximum endurance charges, but other than that, I will die from RF. So it's not worth it to run for me. <laughs> Um, so instead of doing that, I'm just going to give up on RF, uh, try to remake it later and try to make the dream work. But until then, it's just not, <laughs> it's not happening. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Um, we'll talk about my gear and everything like that. Uh, so as far as gear, what you're looking for is elements of damage, spell damage, and fire damage, and burning damage. Fire damage or burning damage either works. Um, but that's what you're looking for. Some intelligence is nice, but you really need the dexterity. Uh, fire resistance is a given, but you get so much fire resistance from the tree as a marauder, it's not even really necessary. Uh, so what you end up with for my current scepter setup, uh, so I can run shield charge, is summon storm golem, minion life support, and brand recall. Uh, brand recall is just a skill that pulls your brands to you. So for instance, if I put my brands all the way over here, well, if I put them all the way over here, and then I run all the way over here, and type brand recall, they drop all the way over here. Um, so it's just a really useful skill. You can get it really early. It's not a big deal. Um, so that's what I'm running. As far as my rings, I'm running two comb signs. They just give me, uh, maximum endurance charges because for each endurance charge, I get 6% increased fire damage. Um, these were kind of expensive. They cost me 2C each. Um, they're not that expensive. The upgraded version of them is much better, but, uh, I only really care about the endurance charge. I don't care that much about the rest of it, so it is what it is. Um... And then the other unique I'm running is Honor's Resolve. This gives me increased fire damage. Um, and then cold resistance and cannot be chilled or frozen if I use a fire skill recently. You're going to be using fire skills the entire time you're playing. So you will never be frozen. Or you should never get frozen is what I should say. Um, I'm running Purity of Fire, Shield Charge, Fortify, and Faster Attacks. I'm probably going to drop Purity of Fire and switch it for Anger because I no longer need Purity of Fire. Um... And then I'll be fine with that. Uh, or I might even run Herald of Fire so I have more mana. But that's what I'm running so far uh, as far as that. As far as my body, i really looking for life regen and resistances and max life. Um, and then I'm currently running Army Grand and Brand, Combustion Support, Spell Echo Support, and Concentrated Effects. I don't really see the need to run this at a 5 link. Uh, you could run it as a 5 link, but I just don't see the need. It's just not necessary to me. So I'm just keeping this as a 4 link. Uh, as far as my gloves, I'm just running a lot of resistances. And there's the mod I was talking about earlier. Um, this gives me 11% increased global critical, global critical strike chance. And then 15% increased elemental damage if I've crit recently. So it's very nice overall for the build. Um, I'm running Val Righteous Fire, increased area effect, and burning damage support. Uh, but I might just stay with Val Righteous Fire and ignore Righteous Fire all together. I don't know. I'm still looking at it. I'll still figure it out. Um, my belt is just max life. It's not incredible, but it is what it is. It's what I need. Max life, cold resist, lightning resist, life regen is what it is. I rolled damage onto it. Uh, as far as my boots, cold resistance, movement speed, life regen, it's all you're looking for. Cold resistance and lightning resistance are all you need to worry about. Fire resistance will naturally get capped. Um, 
you're looking for dex a dexterity necklace you need a little bit of dexterity to be able to work out this build um the intelligence and the strength are naturally built into the tree so you'll be fine with that um we are looking for cold resistance lightning resistance max life that's all you need uh and some decks and then i am currently running a rise of the phoenix but if i drop um if i end up dropping rf i won't use this anymore so i'll just switch for any type of shield that runs um elemental resistances some life regen and uh a little bit of all resistance and i'll be good uh over there i'm running blaster support and flammability so that's all my skills uh, as far as my flask i'm just running immediate bleeding I'm running one mana flask with increased movement speed just so I can charge around faster. I'm running the immediate new freeze because I just don't trust the helm. I don't, gonna be honest with you. And then I'm running uh, concentrated or sulfur flask for the increased damage. And then I am running uh, immunity to poison. So those are the floor flasks I'm using. Uh, let's pop this in here so you guys can see that. But uh, opening our tree. Uh, this character currently hasn't done merciless lab. I need to get to do merciless lab. I haven't yet, but. Uh, Right now, I grab the life regen and increased endurance charge duration. I'm grabbing the increased life regen duration per endurance charge. Um, and anytime I kill an enemy or my totems kill an enemy, I would gain the um, increased totem damage or increased fire damage for endurance charge. I'm grabbing extra life endurance charge and Ramoko's Sun. So, this is why you don't really need to scale that much into fire resistance because it gives you 100% to fire resistance. You just don't need to build that much. It's just not necessary. Uh, for the last two labs, for Merciless and uh, for Merciless and Uber, I'll grab Mahu's Flame and I'll grab uh, Hinikoras. Uh, that's just extra life regen, extra strength, and uh, extra fire damage from those two. Uh, this is what my tree currently looks like. Uh, I grabbed all my endurance charges. I've grabbed plenty of health so far. I have even more health to scale through. I have seven jewels. I have plenty more damage to come. This is very. This tree is just very well spread and built up currently, um, as it is. Uh, if I go over to Path of Building, I can show you guys what the end game total will look like, and you guys can see that. And if you hit exclamation point Poe, you guys can see the builds over there. I do. I think I have the links in Path of Building for that. Um, but heading over to Path of Building, this is what the current tree will look like. Uh, with everything involved i'm grabbing all my brands really early so i can do a lot of damage from those um there's only three brand nodes in the entire tree or three brand clusters i should say there's one here there's one here and there's one over here those are the only only clusters for that uh other than that there's no other ones in the game those are the only ones and that's all you can really work with so work it out either way whichever way you can but that's just what it is um currently i might run a crit lightning brand or quit lightning brand build soon uh using assassin and then running max power charges all across the map i might do that uh i don't know yet i might do that soon but this is what the tree is going to end up looking like towards the end uh heading back to the game i'll show you guys what a map looks like and then i will switch over to the last of my classes and i will show you guys uh how those work out so heading back to the tree Let's do an arid maps. Uh, do I have all my stuff summoned up? Because I don't know if I do. Okay, so need my golem summoned, and then we're good to go. So I shield charge everywhere. Um, all you really have to do is just kind of cast this and just kind of move. That's all it takes. You can just pull it to pack to pack move pack to pack and you're good <laughs> um so right now now that i'm currently at uh eight power chargers or eight endurance charges i can m maintain to an extent rf however i just don't think it's uh the best decision i'll say like it's maintainable but it's not um, fully maintainable, meaning I can't stand still. Uh, when I do it, I have to continue moving or I will die. Um, because I just don't have enough uh, life regeneration at current to be able to currently maintain it fully. Uh, if I get my Merciless Stab done, then I probably will have enough regeneration. But again, I still don't know if I'm trying to keep it or not. Um, but currently, I am slightly under what I need for it overall. So, uh... You still really need to worry about um, maintaining your endurance charges, and if your endurance charges drop, you're probably going to die. 
<laughs> this just is what it is. You really need to uh, maintain it as much as I don't want to run elbows. But if you do have um, Righteous Fire running, then you are really um, able to boost your damage because Armageddon Brand gains a huge amount of damage from anything that's ignited. So if you ignite with it, you again get like 100 something increased damage, 151% increased damage. Uh, so it's really, really strong if you're able to maintain it. If you're not, you're in trouble. But uh, if you are, you'll be able to do quite a bit more clearing overall. So what I really maintain, though, is the Val RF is really what I want to maintain. Uh, because Val RF just makes bossing much easier. And that's really what I'm using Val RF for, is to make bossing much easier for me. Because the single target damage is not incredible. It's decent, it's good enough, but it's not incredible yet. Um, I'm going to get it to that point, but uh, right now it's just not that incredible. And see what I mean? As my endurance charges go off, now I start having to use my life flask a little bit more to maintain, um, to maintain my kind of, uh, to maintain the life regen I need for my flask. Uh, if I can get some better gear with life regen, I'll be good. But until then, the situation is just not great. Um, but yeah, so that's everything. That clears out this map. I don't care about Avil right now. We'll head back over here because I know there's a pack over here. Okay, so we'll call it that. Mm -hmm. Let me turn your mind into mine.